Hi guys, this is Dr. Neda with Keys of Health. Thyroid diseases are the most common hormonal problems that we face. And iodine plays a major role in thyroid health. So it's important for us to know this nutrient and what it can do for our health. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about iodine and what effects it has on our body. We need very small amount of iodine, but it plays a major role, not only for our thyroid health, but also for our immune system and therefore our body's ability to fight infections. This is why I decided to do a video on this topic now. As the lockdown is being eased around the world, we need to make sure our immune system is strong and iodine plays an important role in that. It is shocking how many people are deficient in iodine considering how little of it we actually need, but it will make sense when we look at the sources of iodine. About two billion people worldwide are deficient in this key nutrient. Adults need only 150 micrograms of iodine daily, and the need differs according to the age. It is important to know that our bodies don't make iodine. We need it from external sources. Seaweed, saltwater fish, and seafood are natural sources of dietary iodine. Dairy products also contain iodine. During lactation, the breast concentrates iodine in milk, so breast milk tends to be a good source of iodine as long as the mother's iodine intake is adequate. Plants grown in iodine-rich soil are also good sources. However, it is very rare because most of the soil is depleted from these trace minerals and nutrients due to overproduction. If you live near sea, take advantage of that and take regular walks on the beach since there are nutrients in the air and it is a good way to replenish your body. And then there's iodized salt. One fourth of a teaspoon of iodized salt contains about 100 micrograms of iodine. Here are some good sources of iodine. Seaweed, iodized salt, baked cod, reduced fat milk. Make sure you stay away from commercial milk and go for organic, enriched bread, egg, and cheddar cheese. We usually associate iodine with thyroid function, but it does so much more than that. Yes, it is directly responsible for thyroid health and function. Another way it is really important for thyroid function is by regulating and lowering high estrogen levels, which also affect thyroid. So for women who have high estrogen levels, who find it difficult to lose belly fat, have irregular periods, uh, fibrocystic lumps in breast, and other associated symptoms of high estrogen can greatly benefit from iodine. Iodine is important for everyone, but it is especially crucial for pregnant women because if a woman is uh, deficient in iodine during pregnancy, it can cause some serious complications. It can lead to miscarriage, premature birth, stillbirth, and low birth weight in offspring. It can also cause intellectual disability and stunted growth in children and also deafness. That's what makes it one of the most critical and important trace minerals out there. That's why it is highly recommended to take a good multivitamin and mineral supplement that also contain the trace minerals in general. All right, let's move on to iodine's role in our immunity. Iodine plays a role in the production of B cells. B cells fight bacteria and viruses by making antibodies. Research shows that iodine can be used in a potent antimicrobial process involving a peroxidase, hydrogen peroxide, and a halide. The antimicrobial process quickly kills bacteria, virus, fungi, and other microorganisms. Iodine helps stimulate phagocytes. Phagocytes are a type of white blood cell that use uh, phagocytosis to engulf bacteria, foreign particles, and dying cells to protect the body. And iodine plays a role in making this happen. Iodine stimulates natural killer cells as well. Natural killer cells are a type of lymphocyte, which is a white blood cell, and a component of innate immune system. They kill virally infected cells and detect and control early signs of cancer. Iodine also helps enhance cytokines. Cytokines are chemical messengers. Cytokines release from one cell affect the actions of other cells by binding to receptors on their surface. Through this process, they help regulate the immune response. Additionally, iodine is effective in suppressing autoimmunity, which keeps immunity in check. It also plays a role in immunity by ensuring that the immune system remembers how to fight pathogens it has been exposed to in the past and effectively protect your body. These are some of the ways this trace nutrient plays some big roles in our body, including our immunity. It is important for us to know this information so we can boost up our defenses from all angles as we wait for this pandemic to end. 
I hope you benefited from the video. Please like the video, please share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you shortly with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.